it going guys? Welcome to the Planetary Gamers. Sarah here today and today I am going to give you a tutorial of how to add different planes to X-Plane 11 and also do a startup video from Cold and Dark of the Falcon of the Dassault Falcon 7X. But before I do, definitely be sure to leave a like and a comment down below and hit that awesome red subscribe button above and hit the little bell icon to be notified every time we post a video. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have opened my Steam store um, where I do have uh, x 11. Um, I do have it running already, so um, that's why I says stop. So what you'll do is you'll come, you'll open up x uh, I get a majority of my downloads from here. Um, it's a lot of them are free basically you just gotta kind of cruise around but I'm just gonna give you guys a little general overview so what you'll do is you'll hit the download file and then you'll download it and then it'll come in a zip right down here and then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that zip file and you're gonna open it and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this file here that says Falcon 7x because uh, I am doing it on a Windows. I do not have a Mac, which I guess this could be used on a Mac as well. But I'm going to take this, and then what you'll do is you'll go back to Steam. You will right-click on the x 11 over here, and then you'll hit Properties, which will then bring up this window here. And this window is your Properties window. It'll look just like this. And then you hit Local Files, and you hit Browse Local Files. And then this will pop up. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and you're going to hit uh, aircraft. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to click and drag that folder from the zip. I usually put it in both files, um, both folders. And as you can see here, I do already have it. It's right here. Um, this is another one. I don't know why I have both, but hey, why not? So this is the Falcon 7X. Um, as you see, I have a bunch of other planes that I've kind of played around with. And then here's my Falcon 7X as well. When the game is running, they will not show up. So you have to do it when the game isn't running or you have to restart the game if you have it running. Since I already have the plane loaded in, I don't have to worry about it. So that's kind of a little introduction on how to go about adding the plane into the X-Plane files. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up X-Plane now. So now that we have our X-Plane here, um, what we'll do is I already load myself into the plane, but you can go to Flight Configuration, and usually it's down here in the specif un unclassified, and mine is the Falcon 7X um, uh, version uh, V11N1, so that is the plane. Um, we click it so that way it does not start with engines on. And then I have it loaded in to be at KMCO and BizJet2. And we have local weather and local time, which is fine. It'll be fine because you guys can still see because it's not dark out. So now we're going to get into the actual starting up the plane. So the first thing we got to do is, well, first let me give you guys a little tour of around the plane. Here is our plane. Here is our Falcon our Dassault Falcon 7X. It is a very nice jet. It is a three jet plane and it does seat 14 passengers all the way up to 100% fuel load. Um, it is, this thing is a beast. Um, it even has the entire interior modeled. So um, I will also be putting a link in the description below that will take you directly to the website for where you can download this plane. And I promise it's not that hard to download to it at a plane. It really isn't. So let's start off. Let's get started with our starting it up with cold and dark. So we're cold and dark. First thing we gotta do is we gotta move over our pan. We gotta look up at our trusty panel so we can see everything that's going on. So. First thing we gotta do is we gotta turn our batteries on right here and here. And then you're gonna hit the LH uh, ignition. Uh, turn that to on, which is on is usually no light. So 
that's kind of how this plane is. Then you did do the RH, and then you hit bus tie, so that way it is tied. And then we go down here and we hit the nav, nav light, and we hit twice, so that way it says logo. And as you can see, we have all of our screens are on now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the APU. So we're gonna hit the APU master button, push button, and that'll go to on. And then we're gonna hit the start stop button. It's gonna blink a few times to get it up and running. All right, now it says, oh, now it says run. So next thing is, is to check the power. So we're gonna actually go back over here to our, um, to the battery section. We're gonna click the LH ISOL uh, to be tied, which is the white bar means it's tied. And then we're gonna hit the RH ISOL and have it be tied. We're gonna hit LH master to have it be on and RH master to be on. And as you see, some lights actually went off, which is great. The next thing we're gonna do is we will kind of scoot up forward a little bit. All right, so the next part, we're gonna be doing the uh, emergency lights, which is here, which is this switch here. You're gonna click it twice to put it on arm. You're gonna click the fasten seatbelt button, the no smoking, and the cabin lights uh, to like that, just like that, to have it be off, which means that they're all on. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna start up our engines. Uh, first, we gotta make sure that our brake is on. And as you can see here, it does say that our brake is on and it does show you that the APU is on. Um, and then we have to go over here to, uh, let's see here. That's better. So you're gonna click this and have it be red for the anti-coal and make sure this says logo, that says red and make sure that your area is clear. So then we're gonna go over and we're gonna start up our engines now. So what you'll do is you'll actually look down here and we'll move over a little bit so that we can see. So these little fuel things here, uh, you're gonna click each of these on. And then what you can do is you can either rotate this to start or you can actually turn them on up here by clicking and holding each of the engines. I personally prefer doing this. All you do is just do that. And all your engines should be on. So let's go ahead and take a look over here. So this is where you show all your engines. Uh, NI and ITT. Uh, you see that they are starting to climb. And if we go ahead and look outside, you can see that they are all on. And then the next thing is to, once that is on, we are going to untie the bus and we are going to, uh, you can put on anti-ice if you need it. Um, we are a KFCO, so in Florida, we don't need anti-ice down here. So. Next, we are going to push the APU start stop to stop it. And then we are going to hit the APU master button to set it off. Uh, and this is what your overhead panel should look like. Let me get to it. Let me get you a nice good view of it. Yes. So this is what your panel should look like. Um, not too crazy. Nothing. Got the major lit up. And then once we do that, you can, oh, and then all over here, sorry, I forgot this part here. Uh, we have our landing lights here and we have our taxi lights. These are for our overhead panel. This is our lighting for the cockpit. Uh, 
panel. This is to turn up and down the panel. And yeah. And then... So that is how you go ahead and you start up the, the plane. And I'm also going to kind of give you guys a little uh, introduction on the FMC as well. Uh, I'm not the best at it, not going to lie. So um, here we have the FMC. We're going to hit flight plan. Uh, you can click this. And when it's blinking, that means that you can uh, type with the keyboard. So we're going to go KMCO is our start. And then let's just go up to Stanford, KSFB. And then we're going to go to departure arrival. Hit departure. We are on we are on BizJet, but we can we will depart out of one runway 18 right. Uh, no, we're not. That's not right. We're going to depart out of 36 right. Through uh, Sitar and then execute and then you go back to departure arrival. You hit arrival. We'll come in on ILS uh, 9 right. Execute. And then you go to legs. And then as you see here, we do have a little bit of a discontinuity. So you will have to go to the next page. You click Jorvu. You click that. You go back to the previous page. And then you click it where vector is. And then execute. And as you see here, you see here, this is how you will see here. We are currently here. And then we're here. And this is where runway 36 is. And then, which I think this one has to go out more. Excuse. Yeah, that's right. So then we'll go to uh, runway 36 and then it'll take us, and then as you see here, this white line here takes us all the way up here to KSFB, which is right up here. And it'll take us through those waypoints. And then up here is all of your autopilot stuff. So here's where you can turn your autopilot on. You set your altitude here. You can change your, you can put your vertical speed here uh, this is where you can do your heading if you want to fly the plane by heading. Um, this plane does have auto throttle, which is really cool. Uh, so you can set it so that way it will automatically throttle for you. And this way, an LNAV is so that way you can fly through the navigation or it will fly through a heading if you want it to fly through heading. So yeah, that is our startup video from Cold and Dark for our Falcon, for our Dassault Falcon 7X. Sorry, I always forget the Dassault part. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, definitely be sure to leave them in the comments. Like I said, I am going to be putting that link for the uh, website where you can actually download this exact plane and put it into your own X-Plane. Um, it's a lot of fun. I love this plane. It's great. It is, it's a beast. So with that, I think we're going to wrap up this one. I really hope you guys found this helpful. Um, so if there's any other questions or any concerns, definitely don't be afraid to put them in the comments below and leave us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe. Uh, until then, I've been Sarah and we'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.